So we currently are living through a political season. And as I record this program, we are in the throes of the U.S. election. The French election just completed, the U.K. election prior to that, and there were many more elections prior to that. And at some point, I was thinking, it's like, when does AI and politics mash up? I mean, we've already heard, and through our sister podcast, AIDaily.us, that there were a number of people who were actually trying to create candidacies, AI candidacies. So they're using ChatGPT to try and create actual candidates. And I'm not sure if any of them have actually gone anywhere or have done anything. But we seem to be trying things out, which is great. I love when human beings try new things. And in this case, we're trying to create AI candidates. Now, when some people talk about AI candidates, they're aghast, they're stunned, they're surprised. They're like, we should never, ever have AI candidates. And I think that's completely wrong. In fact, if you ask me, I think it would be a great idea to have AI candidates. And I'll tell you why. Because if you think about what a candidate is supposed to do, what is a political candidate supposed to do? What is a politician supposed to do? They are supposed to represent us, represent the people. And in many cases, they end up not representing the people. There's some, something happens and they get swayed. I mean, they're only human beings after all. And they end up not representing the people. So how much of a stretch is it really to think about how we can actually use AI to create the perfect representative? I'm not talking about a politician. We're not talking about a politician. We're talking about a representative. Imagine it. An AI representative, the perfect representative who would actually represent all of its constituents' desires. Everything that the constituents wanted would be something that the AI candidate, the AI representative, would be able to provide. It would be completely, if we wrote it right, if we developed it correctly, impervious to any kind of bribery, to any kind of corruption. Because if you think about it, it's a machine. And we can write it to be anything we want. Obviously, certain actors may want to write it in other ways. But if we assume that we only had good actors, positive actors, who really wanted to develop an AI representative who actually represented the people of the constituency, then what's the problem with that? I mean, some people might say, that's horrible. We cannot have machines representing humans. Well, if the machine is actually representing the humans and representing them in such a way that they're, they're actually being represented and they're not being bribed or corrupted, by certain forces like lobbyists or things like that, or people like that, then there is, and is there any reason to at least ex not explore it? Why don't we have AI representatives in, in smaller offices? Why don't we have them, in, say, in school districts or something like that? Why don't we give it a try? Why don't we experiment with AI candidates, AI representatives? How bad could it possibly be? I mean, we can do it on a small scale. We do it on a small scale and see how it turns out. Maybe it works out. Maybe it doesn't. But I say, at least let's try it out. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.
pixels and philosophies merge and mold a future untold unseen <laughs> 